Culture may feel exclusively human, but it's been observed in all types of animals, from chimpanzees to birds. But what about the humble invertebrate? Do fruit flies have culture? Researchers tried to find out if fruit flies might have their own cultural assets to pass down through the generations by looking at mating preferences. They set up five rules to define whether a behavior was learned and cultural. First, the female fly must learn their mate selection preference from watching other female flies choose a mate. For example, when an observer female watched a second female select a green male to copulate with, the observer females overwhelmingly chose a green male when faced with their own mate selection. Second, the learned behavior must be passed from older to younger flies. The observer females selected a green male regardless of whether they saw copulating females that were older or a similar age. Third, the mating preference must persist. After showing a female fly a green male copulating every 15 to 30 minutes several times, the observer female predominantly chose the green male, even after 24 hours passed. Since fruit flies only live for about 40 days, 24 hours is a significant slice of their life. Fourth, the copying is based on a specific trait. Even when faced with a green male that had another prominent feature, like white eyes or curly wings, the observer female still usually preferred them over pink males. Lastly, the mating preference has to have a repair mechanism. In all the experiments, 80% or less of flies learned a mate preference from observation. Without a mechanism to correct for the 20% of flies that didn't learn, the mate preference should theoretically drop down to 51% by the third generation. However, researchers found that learned behaviors persisted much longer during the experiment, down to the eighth generation. Researchers tested to see whether showing several demonstrations of copulation would lead to a higher percentage of learned mate preference. When observer females saw equal proportions of demonstrator females copulating with green and pink males, the observer females had no mate preference. In contrast, if all the demonstrator females were copulating with green males, 100% of observer females went with the majority and chose a green mate. This exaggerated tendency in the flies to copy the majority demonstrates the repair mechanism. The scientists think their work could shed some light on how social pressures produce local traditions. These in turn might drive evolution as they spread and are passed down in vast nations of humans or tiny fly colonies in fruit bowls.